Hello and welcome to the Rangers Journal. My name is Kai Watson and today's video we're going to talk about why Connor Byrne and Liam Kelly are smart signings by a club. Personally, even though the Kelly deal is not being confirmed yet, Connor Byrne was obviously confirmed yesterday. I think this is really smart business from the club, not just from a homegrown aspect because there obviously is murmurings that the homegrown rule is going to be kind of kicked down a bit, that it's not going to be as extensive. I think there's some legal matters involved, but I don't think there's been anything confirmed in that yet. But it's still really smart of the club to go for two free transfers. One of a player that's kind of broke out in the Aberdeen team the last couple of seasons. Looks like he's a great potential, brilliant passer of the ball. Really promising, been excelling for Scotland under 21 level. And there was a bit of a clamouring for him to get called up to the full national squad for the Euros. Liam Kelly as well, Scotland international, Motherwell captain. Obviously came through the Rangers Youth Academy, so getting him in a free as well. Obviously, Baron won't be free. There'll be some kind of compensation involved, whether it goes through the tribunal or whether Rangers and Aberdeen can agree a fee. That will obviously come out in the coming days and weeks. It'll be interesting to see that. But I do think it's very, very smart business from the club to get these two players in for such minimal cost. So let's look into why I think these are really good deals for Rangers to be doing. This is off with, obviously, Conor Baron was confirmed yesterday. So let's look into what kind of Conor Baron himself and those within the club had to say on the deal. So upon signing for the club, Conor Barron said, I'm absolutely delighted. As soon as I started talking to the club, I knew that this was the place for me to come. Everything seemed right and I think it's the best place for me to be at this moment of my career. As a club where the demand is high to win football matches and trophies and that is something I really want to be a part of. It was a massive decision for me, but it was made easy by speaking to the staff and manager and I now can't wait to get started. I mean, that's really encouraging to hear from the player considering there was supposed to be championship interest and interest from Italy. So the fact that he's spoken to the club and the staff involved and that's made them want to sign us. It's obviously brilliant to hear that the manager, the other staff involved in the club is that pool that you can get players to reject offers from Italy and probably get a high paying offers in the championship as well. So that was brilliant to hear from Conor Bird. Now we'll just look at what Felipe Clement and now Scott had to say as well. So Clement added, we are thrilled to welcome Connor to the club. He's a young, talented player with the right mentality who's already gathered lots of experience in the Scottish Premiership and in Europe. Then Coppin added to that, it's important that young Scottish talents play a big part in the years ahead and we are delighted to add a talented midfielder in Connor to the ranks at Rangers. He's a player that we have directly competed against on the pitch in recent years and through his hard work and dedication we believe will prove a real asset to the side. So again, I think it's really encouraging that the club are actually looking at young Scottish talent. That's something that's always been ingrained in the squads that have kind of been successful in one titles. There's always been that Scottish core, so the fact we're still looking at the best young Scottish talent you know, the youth team went through a spell a couple of summers ago where they spent a lot of money to bring in the best talent, and that included bringing Bailey Rice in, but none of those players have kind of transitioned to the first team as of yet. So it's encouraging that we're going after players that are first team ready, like Conor Barron, come in, he might not be a starter every week, but he's shown the ability level in the Scottish Premiership that he can at least contribute. So he's going to get a lot of minutes next season, and it's encouraging to see that the team and the scouting staff are kind of looking at those areas and still looking to have a Scottish core to the side. And let's look at Barron's profile himself. So Conor Barron's 21 years old. He's obviously Scottish, 5 foot 9 and formerly of Aberdeen, now currently of Rangers. Transfer market having valued at 935k. Key starts from last season, 29 appearances, 24 from the start, got one goal and three assists. 79% pass accuracy, 42.3% long ball accuracy, just under one chance created per 90. 58.3% dribble success per 90. 74.5% tackles, 1 per 90, 56.1% shows, 1 and just under 7 recoveries per 90. So you can see those defensive numbers are really impressive. He's a tenacious player, he likes to get stuck in, but when he comes out with the ball, he's a very good passer. 79% might seem quite low if you're looking at one of your main centre mids when you compare it to the likes of John Lundstrom's numbers for last year, but that's because he's not always safe with these passes. He does like to try and fire the ball through the lines. He does like to look for those runs over the top because he's capable of those passes. If you've watched him, you know that the ability is there, that he can make those passes, can create those chances and get the team moving forward. So that's nothing to be discouraged by. Again, 79% pass accuracy. It's not exactly disastrous, but it just shows a player that's willing to make those risky passes. And that's that's what we've not really had. We've been used to sideway passes, passes back, passes back to the centre half and then playing the ball between themselves. But Barron's a player that's going to get on the ball He's going to look to drive forward. If he can't drive forward himself, he'll look to play that pass forward and get somebody else moving. So, again, I think it's a really smart signing. 21 years old, 
plenty of experience, good experience at international level under 21. I don't think it'll be long before he's called up to the full Scotland squad. Obviously, he's technically a replacement for Ryan Jack. I think he's got more ability on the ball than Jack. Might not be as good defensively, but you look at some of those numbers, the 74.5% tackles won, the 56.1% duels won, and just under seven recoveries. The defensive numbers are great. Kind of highlights his tenacity and his positioning is really good as well. He knows where to be, he picks up those loose balls, which again, we've not been overly used to playing last season, especially towards the end of the season. He's going to be full of tenacity, which... Again, I don't think we really got from John Lundstrom. He's not really had, he didn't really have that bite towards the end of the season. But bite is something that Conor Barron has in abundance. I really can't wait to see him play for Rangers. So let's move on to Liam Kelly. So Liam Kelly, 20-year-old Scottish goalkeeper, six foot two, currently at Motherwell, should be signing for Rangers in the coming days or weeks. Transfer market unvalued at 650k. Looking at his key stats from last season, so 38 appearances, 3 clean sheets, 59 goals conceded, 1.55 goals conceded per 90, 2.55 saves per 90, 0.22 goals prevented per 90, 0 errors leading to goal, 51% pass accuracy, 32.8% long ball accuracy and 9.11 accurate long balls per 90. Well, I really think there's any sugar coat in those stats and I think Liam Kelly himself would admit it's not been his best season. Spoke to some other fans that kind of feel the same, but the big thing with Liam Kelly coming in, he's a leader, like he's a mother captain. Leader coming into the dressing room, he's someone that knows the club, knows the club inside now. He obviously came to the Youth Academy, he knows what it means to play for Rangers. That's it's a massive thing, especially when you've got so many young players coming in, like the average age of the players. I don't think there's been any players signed over 22 so far. So you need players that are going to be leaders in the dressing room, you're losing experience like Lundstrom. Barisic again has went as well. Ryan Jack was obviously a big figure in the dressing room, being Scottish, obviously being a Rangers fan. It's a perfect player to kind of show people what it means to play for the club. So I think Kelly's brilliant coming in there as obviously the backup goalkeeper to Jack Butlin currently. So I don't think he's going to be a starter. He might get some games in the cup, especially if McCrory goes. But the signing of Kelly's more about Having that homegrown player there, the player that knows what it means, player that knows the city, player that can help kind of younger players coming through, not just goalkeepers, just players that are coming out of the club that are of a young age that maybe don't understand as much what it means, how intense it is. He can help those players come in and sell in alongside players like if Golden's still here, Tavernier, Balligan, those experienced players. Kelly's going to fit right in that group. Obviously, come from being Motherwell captain. He's also a Scottish international. Maybe didn't have his best season last season, but he's shown what he's capable of in the season before. And he's a he's a very good goalkeeper at the end of the day. Like I said, even though he didn't have his best season, to get called up into the Scotland squad, you obviously have to have a bit of something. And the fact he's Motherwell club captain means he's obviously thought highly of there. I just think it's a really smart signing on a free. The type of signings the club probably hasn't made in recent years. And... The fact he's came to the Youth Academy is obviously huge and knowing what it means to the club and just helping that settling in period for others. And speaking on settling in periods, we've done the podcast on Wednesday night. Me, Scott and Doug kind of spoke through how we can help players settle in, what that kind of process is like. I thought it was a really interesting, really interesting podcast. It's something that isn't really covered. It's something that I hadn't thought of covering and hadn't really thought about until we spoke it through on the pod and there was some really interesting things that come up so I think it's definitely worth checking out. And again, speaking of podcasts that are worth checking out, Scott and Doug were also on again last night doing a QA, and a some very interesting questions asked so I think that's another one that's definitely worth checking out. Guys will be live tonight again as well. Obviously lots of content here in the Rangers Journal, all for free. Monday to Friday we're guaranteed to have content sometimes, even have content on the weekends as well. So again, don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day.